On the next Canine Corner, we'll learn all about a holistic and healthy pet food brand, and we stop by a mobile pet care clinic. Plus, we'll tell you how you can give this adorable girl a forever home. All this coming up on the next Canine Corner. Hi there, I'm Rhiannon Chertanich, your host for Canine Corner, the show that your dog will give two paws up. We have a very exciting show for you today. We'll meet the Southern California marketing team from I and Love and You Pet Food and learn all about their amazing products. Plus, we stop by a mobile pet care clinic in Torrance. But first, let's meet the adorable dogs from Kenmar Rescue who are looking for their forever homes. We are a foster-based rescue that's based out of Los Angeles and we are, like I said, all fosters. We believe that that business plan is a good model because we can tell a dog's personality by being in an environment, in a home environment. So we can tell if the dog is good with people, good with cats, good with kids, and um, anything else you wanna know after being in a home environment, it gives them a chance to decompress a little bit from the shelter environment. Here we have Praline. She is a Terry Poo, two and a half years old, and she's very lovable and very playful. High energy though, but she likes to be able to run around with the other dogs. She would be good in a home with other dogs or without other dogs. She just loves to be touched and she's very affectionate, as you can see. So I'd like to tell you a little bit about Oatmeal today. She is a wonderful two-year-old Pomeranian. She is about 10 pounds and she is crate trained at night, gets along really great with other dogs, but prefers to be an only child. So she would do best with um, a family that wants just a chill dog to have as a companion that is gonna take her on trips and car rides. She's um, the kind of girl you would take at the cafe and just hang out with a friend. She's very well behaved. She is very sweet. And as you can see, she's a portable pet. So she's available, and with these looks, she's going to fly fast. So I would suggest everybody act now and fill out an application at KenmoreRescue.org so they can adopt oatmeal. Today I want to tell you a little bit more about Leela. She is our little Shih Tzu. She is about 12 pounds. She's two years old, and she is crate trained at night. She's microchipped, up to date with all of her shots, as all of our dogs are, and she's spayed. Leela would be best as an only dog. If you like cats, Leela's the dog for you. She's independent and she likes affection on her own terms, but let me tell you, this dog is a retriever. She will fetch the ball with you 24 hours a day. She just loves playing. Um, and she is just the cutest little girl. She is very lap happy, as you can see. And see, she's just ready for her forever home. If you're interested in contacting Kenmar Rescue, please visit KenmarRescue.org. Those dogs are so adorable. Kenmar Rescue will be back later in the show to talk to us about their upcoming fundraiser, and you won't want to miss the details on that. But first, we stop by the Torrance YMCA for a pet care clinic. Let's check it out. Local dogs and their owners stop by the YMCA for a clinic that offered preventative care services for animals. My dog Charlie is going to get his rabies shot so he can get his uh, license renewed this year. And we came last time, it was a few months ago, for his Bordetella and it's great because it's, he's not as scared here as he is at his normal vet. First Care offered a variety of services at the event including microchipping, vaccinating, heartworm testing as well as flea medication. Vaccination wise it's really important not only for their animal's health but for other um, dogs and cats um, and you know just uh, for other animals in general to prevent diseases. First Care technicians were on hand the entire event speaking with pet parents about the different services and answering questions. It's great for the community like yeah we love this uh, that they do affordable like uh, vaccination for, for our beast, for our deer beasts. And the event gave dog owners a chance to get affordable preventative care for their pets. This is a really good event. It just comes every about three months, and it's really good because it doesn't cost very much. That you know, I don't want to pay for a whole office visit just for him to get one shot. First Care not only offers affordable services for pet owners, but they are a mobile clinic, and their events often bring the community out. 
A lot of people were in line like, hey, that's my neighbor. So it's kind of nice to see. Um, I mean, the Sentinel Feed locations are always um, cool too because we get recurring customers all the time and it's just, it's nice to see them. The clinics, like the one at the YMCA, are not only convenient, but they are beneficial for pets. It'll benefit their health, it'll benefit, you know, they might be needing something, they might be itching from fleas, they might be, you know, even microchipping, something like that. So, um, yeah, just come out and see us. And I mean, we'll, we're probably going to you anyway, so <laughs> we're making it easy. <laughs> if you want to know when First Care will be visiting your area, please visit firstcarevets.com or call 855-855. 755-8387. What a great event. We're going to take a short break, but don't go anywhere. When we come back, we'll be talking about a pet food company that is not only healthy, but one that your dog will love. You won't want to miss it. Welcome back to Canine Corner. I'm your host, Rhiannon Chertanich. There are so many different pet foods on the market, it can be difficult to tell which one is right for your pup. I and Loving You is here to talk to us about their brand and their all-natural pet food products. I and Lovin' You isn't your average pet food company. It's a natural and nutritional pet product line based on the bond a dog and their human share. This sort of master blend of holistic products, you know, grain-free foods, raw foods, um, herbal remedies, and then and sort of came up with this sort of thematic name, which is I and Lovin' You, which is sort of meant to be sort of, it's sort of represent the the, the reason why we commit 10 to 15 years of our lives to a pet, you know, and we also didn't want to sound like every other pet company. It's a name that sometimes people are like, I don't get it, I don't get the name, but uh, you know, they remember it whether they like it or not. And their street team does a great job about getting the word out about I and Love and You. We're out pretty much four or five days a week. Uh, we go to different dog parks, we do different events, we'll go into stores because we're available in Whole Foods and Sprouts. Um, so we may go do some merchandising in the stores, but when we come to parks like this or go to regular dog parks, it's really just about talking to people about what they're feeding their dogs and giving them samples of our products. And we try not to be just simply like do a hard sell, you know, we really, we have a lot of information to share. And while sharing information and speaking with pet owners, brand ambassadors say it may be work, but it is also play. We go out as a street team and we give out samples, we go to dog parks, we're able to play with dogs. It was one of the, the first jobs that I had was just I go out to play with dogs. And even though they are having fun, the brand ambassadors are doing more than just promoting products. They are genuinely concerned with helping dogs. A lot of people don't understand that uh, not having grain in your dog's food will actually help them. And a lot of people, I've, we just had a, a lady the other day who's telling me, oh, I have this expensive dog food, my dog has skin issues but there's wheat in it. I'm like, well, you should probably take the wheat out. They talk with dog owners about I and Love and You products and how they can help improve their pet's health. We'll see him back out here a few weeks later and they'll tell us they picked up a bag of our food and their dog's doing really great or he's less itchy or he's losing weight and that's always great to hear. From spending time with the SoCal Street Team, you can see this is a brand they trust and believe in. I feel like I'm contributing to my community and letting them know, you know, about this amazing product that's all natural, grain free, great for your pets. Um, I've noticed a huge difference in my pets. It feels really good to find a company that you actually believe in. And we actually, you know, we do a lot more than sampling. We, we do drop offs at like the Humane Society and like everyone really cares about each other on the team. And I think that that's the coolest part. I and Love and You products are sold at Whole Foods, Ralph's and Sprouts. Please visit their website for a complete list of retailers and be sure to keep an eye out around SoCal for their street team. What a great company. I have to say my dog is a big fan of the venison jerky. James Huffman from I and Love and You is back now to talk to us about their products and how raw dog food can benefit your dog. We have a series of freeze dried raw meals. Um, and I really like to talk to people about it because, you know, a raw meal is kind of the ideal diet for a dog. You know, if they were in the wild, if it was a coyote or a wolf, you know, they would be eating raw food. You know, they wouldn't be eating processed things or, or a kibble. They would be eating things that they catch in the wild. And so what we've tried to do is come up with this homemade food that's as, as close to being totally raw as, as possible without actually dealing with raw pieces of meat in your kitchen, you know, and that sort of thing. It's a freeze-dried blend of turkey and vegetables, or we have lamb, uh, we have beef, and we have chicken. Uh, totally grain-free, and what's actually really good about it is it's GMO-free as well, right? Um, so you add a little water, you let it sit for about 10, 15 minutes, and it gets soft and expands, kind of like, uh, like oatmeal, 
uh, but no oats, no grains, you know. Um, and it's really good. I mean, you can use it as a meal by itself. You can just top it on to whatever meal, whatever food you're already feeding your dog. Um, but it, it does really well. It smells like, it's got rosemary in it, so it smells like soup. So when I'm making it for my dogs, I'm like, man, I'm getting hungry. They get all the nutrients, they get, it's better for their digestion, um, and so dogs do really well on the food, and so I'm always really talking that up and trying to get people to try it, especially dogs that are itchy. It really, really, I've talked to so many people and they come back and tell me that their dog was so itchy before, they started the raw food, the freeze-dried raw, um, and he's gotten so much better. And I love hearing that, you know, so. And dogs have great poops on it too. Sorry, but when you talk to people with their dogs, you gotta talk about the poops. And this will give your dog impeccable poops. I would say that it's, it's as good of a pet brand as anything out there. Um, there's a lot of great brands, so I wanna, don't, don't wanna knock anybody else. And anytime you wanna try a new food, you wanna do it gradually. Um, so you don't wanna just take the old food out and put the new food in, because that can sometimes upset a dog's stomach. Um, so you would wanna do a gradual sort of introduction. Um, but it really is worth a try. And I think this is a great company because they're very concerned with a lot of this sort of, the other things that go into being a pet food brand. They, all, they make sure that all the, all the animals that, that where the proteins are, are sort of brought from or manufactured are all treated humanely. All the beef is from grass fed and, and, and humanely um, treated animals beef and cows and chicken and everything. So um, that's something they look into and it's very important to them. If you have a question, contact us and we'll be sure to get you the right answer. Call us at 310-618-5762 or email us at caninecorner at torrentca.gov. Kenmar Rescue is back with us to talk about their upcoming fundraiser. And in case you missed the adoption segment at the beginning of our show or just want to see the adorable dogs again, here's your recap. So I'd like to invite your viewers to come out to our upcoming fundraiser on October 17th. It's going to be a wine tasting. You can come to our website, which is KenmarRescue.org, and go to our events page and find out more about buying tickets. And right now, um, if they buy tickets, they can get a two-for-one. And it's going to be really fun. It's going to be a whole afternoon filled with like, silent auction and raffle, and we're going to have trivia. But act now on that, too, because if you buy tickets now, you can do two-for-one wine tasting and at the event, it'll be more expensive. Praline is a two and a half year old Terry Poo. She's a very sweet dog with a lot of energy. She gets along well with other dogs and loves to play. She's a very affectionate dog and is looking for her forever home. Oatmeal is a two year old Pomeranian. She gets along with other dogs, but would be best in a home where she is an only dog. She is crate trained and she loves car rides. She's a very mellow and sweet dog. Leela's a two-year-old Shih Tzu. She's microchipped, up-to-date on her shots, and crate trained. She would be best as an only dog. Leela loves fetching toys and loves to play. If you're interested in contacting Kenmar Rescue, please visit KenmarRescue.org. I love Halloween, and if you're a dog lover and Halloween lover like me, you're going to want to celebrate with your pup. Here are some spooky ideas for you and your canine companion. Dress up with your dog, but only if he or she is comfortable in a costume. Take your pup to a dog Halloween parade. Whip up some homemade Halloween doggy treats. Watch a spooky movie with your dog. And most importantly, make sure to keep your dog safe. Those ideas all sound so fun, I can't wait to try them with my dog. Be sure to check the Canine Corner Facebook and Twitter pages for Halloween recipes, events, and costume ideas throughout October. That's all the time we have today. Thanks for joining us here on Canine Corner. I'm Rhiannon Chertanich, and we'll see you next time.